Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today we're going to be covering the Magnavox Odyssey 2, otherwise known in Europe as the Philips Video Pack. Let's go ahead and get started. This is very simple. We're going to be using RetroArch to run these games. If you have not set up RetroArch, Jason and Brad have created really awesome setup videos. I'll leave links down below. One of the most important things for the Magnavox Odyssey 2, or the video pack, whatever you want to call it, is the BIOS. O2ROM.bin. You will need this to run these games. I have my Odyssey games here on my desktop, and they are all zipped. I have about 80 of them here. I'm gonna place these in my LaunchBox directory under games. So I'm gonna navigate there now, snap it to the side. My LaunchBox is located under my C drive, users, ETA Prime, LaunchBox. We're gonna to go to the games directory and drop our Magnavox Odyssey 2 games right in here. We're gonna back up one because we need to set up the BIOS. So I have my o2rom.bin on my desktop. This is the Magnavox Odyssey 2 BIOS. Like I said at the beginning, we're using RetroArch, and my RetroArch is located in my LaunchBox directory. Emulators, RetroArch, and we need to place this in our systems folder. So system, this is where most of our BIOSes go for RetroArch. We're gonna place the o2rom.bin right in here. Back up once, we need to download the course. So what we're gonna do is start RetroArch one time. Scroll down to Online Updater, Core Updater. We're gonna scroll all the way down until we see Odyssey slash Video Pack plus O2EM. This is the core we're gonna be using. you can now shut down RetroArch. Let's start LaunchBox and start importing our games. From the top here, we're gonna go to Tools, Import, ROM Files. This is the Import ROMs from Files Wizard. Click Next. You can either add files or you can add a folder. I'm gonna add my Magnavox Odyssey 2 folder that I created with all of my ROMs in it. Placed it in my LaunchBox directory. Under Games, Magnavox Odyssey 2. Click OK and Next. Platform for imported ROMs. Luckily, we have the option for the Magnavox Odyssey 2 located right here. Click Next. Choose an emulator. From the drop-down menu, choose RetroArch. And if you haven't set it up, links are in the description for setup videos. We now need to edit the RetroArch emulator. We're gonna go to Associated Platforms. Scroll all the way down to the very bottom here and we're gonna add a new Associated Platform. There is a link in the description with a text file you can download. This is going to make life so much easier on all of us. Associated Platform, Magnavox Odyssey 2. Copy. You can paste it right in here. We need to add the path to our core. Copy. Paste. Make sure it's checked. Click OK and Next. I'm gonna use the files in their current location. You can search for and download metadata from Wikipedia, but the LaunchBox games database works fine. Next, would you like to download images for your games? Yes. You can uncheck whatever you'd like, but I just leave everything checked. Works perfectly. Click Next. Would you like to download media from EMU Movies? If you don't have an account, I definitely recommend going to sign up. It is free, but if you donate, you unlock some extra perks and it's well worth it. Same here. If there's something you don't want, an image or a video, go ahead and uncheck it. 
click Next. Would you like to specify any custom options? Not for Odyssey. Next. Name. We have the game name here. We have the game location. We also have the file extension. It's .zip. Finish. It's now going to download our metadata and images for our Odyssey 2 games. Be patient, let it finish up. My 79 games were imported successfully. I'm gonna click OK. Over in the left-hand column, we should see Magnavox Odyssey 2. I'm just gonna scroll through here and see how LaunchBox scraped my images. And we're only missing one, actually two. But to tell you the truth, I'm gonna go ahead and delete both of these because I will never play tag or Mission Impossible Plus Program Trip. You can always Google, search, find the images if you need this game and add the image manually. I'm surprised that it did this good of a job actually. This is kind of an offbeat emulator or gaming system, only two million were sold. So you may have already Googled the Odyssey 2 or the video pack and noticed that it has a keyboard. There is a joystick option for this console slash computer but all these games were mainly played with the keyboard. Luckily, RetroArch lets us use any gamepad as long as it can be set up in RetroArch. The only downside to this is you have to press enter or one on your keyboard to start the game. There are a few games that will start automatically, but most of them need a key press on a keyboard to get it going. I'm gonna start Alpine Skiing. <laughs> At the select game menu, you will have to use your keyboard. Enter or one will start the game for you. And from there on out, you can use your controller. I'm using an Xbox One controller. I'm gonna go ahead and get started here. Oh, man. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. I have been trying to find emulators that have not been covered in the tutorials yet, and this happened to be one of them. If you guys have any suggestions at all, let me know in the comments below. There are really good games for the Magnavox Odyssey 2. A lot of younger viewers might not appreciate it as much as other viewers, and I know there are some young viewers that will love this. Like I said, Suggestions down below on tutorials, guys. Um, I've been going through the old tutorial videos looking for stuff that hasn't been done. Every time I think of something, I go back and Brad has covered it perfectly already. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.